Women are not, in general, a minority group. Their innovation, their creativity, their capability is equal to their male counterparts. Any subject that loses those possibilities, they are bereft of their input. Juno is a code of practice. It's based on five principles and we encouraged universities to embody these principles and to demonstrate not only that they agreed with them but also they were putting them into practice. And when you can demonstrate that real changes happen, particularly changes in the culture, you can aspire to Juno champion status. My research is on the Large Hadron Collider. I'm Professor of High Energy Physics here in Cambridge. When I was at university, there was two of us in a group of 30. When I went out to CERN in Geneva, then I saw a 50% male-female ratio in research physics. That is a totally different atmosphere, and it makes you realise that when you come back here, then there is something amiss. So I had a personal experience of applying for a PhD at another university and being shocked that I didn't see a single female face while I was looking around the department, and that really put me off. Project Juno is about taking concern for equality and diversity to our higher plane. And one of the key ways you achieve that is by thinking hard about what you do and doing it differently. One of the statistics I've noticed is that the number of female undergraduates has been gradually rising, which is a very good thing. And I think the more positive results we've got is the fact that we li liaise with other departments in the university and also other physics departments outside of the university. So we can exchange best practice with other groups and you can also see what other departments are doing. We can feed best practice into them from what we're doing as well. We've moved on from seeking to run a clean ship to setting ourselves targets which we don't know how to achieve. That forces us to think the unthinkable and be true champions making a difference to how things work. What initiated the whole process was a visit from the IOP. You know, having a mirror held up to ourselves was something of a surprise, actually. I'm a professor at Imperial College and I happen to be the first female head of department. We try to help women on their career paths by following some of the Juno principles. So we try to make sure that there's flexible working arrangements, provision for childcare. We want to you know, make good working practices. Now, because we've got much more people talking to each other, we perhaps have a better environment than we did before. I think the fact that Glasgow is a, a Juno champion um, sends the message that we are um, working constantly towards improving. So there have been a couple of really concrete things which have come out of Project Juno. Um, the first thing is a PhD student forum. Well, through that means certain processes in PhD student assessment have changed for the better. And then some of the internal organisational structure of the department has been clarified in a way that it wasn't before. It's not just about women in physics, it's about making a happy department that functions well. I think one thing I've learned in the Juno process is it's good to celebrate success. So one thing we've done now is um, implemented an end of year celebrate success event, which is great for staff morale and everyone loves it. But to achieve your Juno champion status, there's a lot of work involved. But it's easy to think of it as a journey, to start off assessing where you are now and then start making little steps towards where you want to be. As part of the Juno process, uh, we've established several different groups. A postgraduate forum, a research staff forum and also a women in physics group. I think traditionally there's very few female role models in physics and that's something we try to address here by having a high percentage of female speakers at the seminars. I think it's quite inspirational. You'll enjoy having a good cake. Cake's very important in this process. <laughs>
Interestingly, when I started in Italy, um, I didn't feel much uh, the problem of, uh, of gender equality. Uh, and maybe more going uh, outside Italy, I've learned sometimes being a, a woman in science can be a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky, if you like. The establishment of a committee within a department to work uh, synchrony on this issue is, I think, a very important step. Uh, working toward the Juno principle is not uh, a one-person job, so you need uh, support of, uh, for example, the head of department. Um, and Juno provides that means by which heads of departments can be encouraged to engage formally with a process which in the end benefits everyone, not just the female members of staff. Project you know we've got people in the department talking to each other about important matters of how the department runs. It makes us take a look at all our procedures and encourages women to stay on here in the workplace. You can venture into this with, without fear and risk. Project Juno benefit for a department will be a much happier, a much uh, harder working, a much more collegiate environment. And for the next generation of women physicists who are coming through your department, if you can make small changes, it's going to make a big difference for them. It will be better for the women, it will be better for the men, it will be better for the students. Join in with Juno.